Hi Leo, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is showing up for you, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Love, coffee cup, missing you. Someone could want to sit down and talk to you because they're missing you. They might want to get back together or just get together. This could also be platonic. Could be someone in your life who's been thinking about you, Leo, as well. Two of Wands, the Justice card, the Four of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Hierophant. Okay, some of you have been healing, Four of Swords. You've been taking some time off. There could be a Taurus or a Libra or a Pisces thinking about you right now. Someone is definitely um, wondering what you're doing, thinking about you. This is under the deck. I feel like some of you, though, are headed in a new direction with the Two of Wands being the overall energy. So this could be choosing to do something different, making some sort of change. But you have someone who might be coming back in from the past. You have an earth sign here, Knight of Coins, or somebody with an offer. Could be a water sign. So messages coming in. You're going to have to decide about something because what you also don't see coming in is there could be some extra money, extra time, something coming in here with the Nine of Coins. I feel like some of you are doing, again, some sort of like um, thinking right now, deciding what you're going to do next. There's it could be a work offer or something along that line. Um, somebody wants to get together or talk. Not wanting to see, making decisions. Seven of Cups. Under the deck is the Two of Cups. You could get a, a semi, you know, surprising message coming up here. And it kind of surprises you with the Seven of Cups. Like you weren't expecting this. It's an offer of some sort. It's like you're looking in a different direction, Leo. But then an offer comes in here and it's kind of like you weren't expecting this person to... Uh, message you or text you or want to get together or something like that. Again, this person feels like they, you know, need to talk to you. They need to clear up the air with justice. They could actually be, like I said, a Libra. But there seems to be love here. There's somebody who wants to again clear the air. Look at the Five of Wands to the Two of Cups. So I think they've been missing you. Look at that when I split the deck, the Five of Coins. Why the Page of Swords in your energy? You may not be super happy with this person, though. Something... Also, you may be kind of focused on your money or your family or things like that. So I just kind of feel like this could surprise you. Like it wasn't something that you were expecting to happen. It wasn't something that you were, you know, even thinking about. So show me with the Seven of Cups. Three of Cups. This could make you happy, though. This, again, might for some of you be like a job from the past, an opportunity from the past with the Knight of Coins. It doesn't have to be love. But it's almost like you're ready to go one way, protecting your money, protecting your family here, or something like that. Excuse me. And then this pops up and it's like, wow, eight of wands, chariot. Definitely somebody is going to come towards you or a job is coming towards you. And it's like this person's very forward. They speak their mind. They say what they need to say. And it's very clear what they want, which is nice. They're not going to beat around the bush or be, you know, vague. They're going to tell you. Um, show me, let's see, you have serendipity. So right place, right time, something lucky. Yeah, and I can really get like, you weren't expecting this at all. Leo, this is like this person or this opportunity. What's this Knight of Coins? Let's clarify it again. What is this Knight of Coins? Strength card. Again, your energy and the Ace of Coin. Wow, and then the Knight of Coins is under the deck again. So I always say this is the coin close up. You can see it, it's really big. It's bigger than what you're expecting. It could be again, uh, some sort of financial opportunity that you do wanna take with the Five of Swords, the 10 of Coins. This can't even be for somebody, maybe a family situation also, because the 10 of Coins is there in your energy. But show me the Three of Cups. Full, wow, we're happy. Four of Swords, you get to rest, and the Nine of Cups. But two of Cups is under the deck. Now, this is something that's really going to be surprising and makes you happy, and it's a partnership in some way. And Seven of Cups behind that, Chariot behind that, something coming straight towards you. Maybe something to do with July or last July or a Cancer. Somebody who wants to see about maybe reconciling, talking, anything like that. Wow. Um, let's see, who is this person? Can you tell us something about this person coming toward Leah? What is this chariot energy? Ace of Cups. So it could be something brand new of the world under the deck. It could be something that you never really dated. 
It's somebody who's thinking about a commitment. Ace of Cups again. Seven of Cups. I don't know. You might not be able to... Um, I was thinking you might not know who this is right off the bat for some of you because Seven of Cups can be confusion or wondering what this is and not really knowing. But then the cards I pulled also is Magician and the Eight of Wands. So again, this person is thinking about you, wondering about you, wanting to message you. There could have been some sort of communication during July or August. So keep that in mind as well. What is this Nine of Coins? The Star card. Wow. So being on the right path. This looks like it's going to bring in either stability or money or something like that as well. I do get some of you like buying some new clothes coming up here at the end of the year, getting dressed up more, something like that. So it feels like you're ready to go down one path and then this shows up and it's something completely different that you weren't even really expecting. It really looks like it's a love connection more than anything, as opposed to like a job or something like that. It could have something to do with traveling though, some travel plans, but what does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know? Sun. So it says happiness and well-being. I also get there's something you get to keep. I don't know if that makes sense, but maybe you're thinking you would have to sell something, get rid of something, or move, but you don't have to now because of this situation or this offer. Uh, there may have been a misunderstanding with this person possibly in the past. Because it did look like they wanted to clear something up with you. Maybe in some confusion. Also, candle, you'll be shown the way. Perfect. And under the deck right now, you have the diamond card. So do we receiving or giving a precious gift and horseshoes under under that with luck? Wow. So whatever, whoever this is, whoever this is that's coming towards you, let's see how they're feeling right now. Let's go to what they're feeling. They feel like the two of you are divine counterparts. So that you two belong together. All right, what else are they thinking about you? How are they feeling about the connection with you? So they're feeling romantic at this time. Okay, it looks like that. It looks like this person has a lot of feelings for you, love. They, again, like I said, coming towards you. They know what they want. But they're not really giving us anyone, which is interesting. A king, a queen, anybody. We have a knight. But they're kind of keeping that part secret. It's also what I'm noticing here. Can you show us who this is by any chance give us a, a message seven of swords wanted to fall out just now so that maybe we get no it's not you're not going to get to know this is something that may be secret until it happens ten of coins and the seven of swords flipped around somebody that you do know someone that's tied to either your family or your money or um secretly somebody who has a lot of money maybe someone's hiding that they have a lot of money but I don't think that either, but I was also thinking, when is Libra season? Libra season is coming up here, right? So if it's a Libra, September, the end of September, yeah. Showing up in a few days, October. They could either be a Libra or this is going to happen during Libra season. Wow, I can't believe it's already Libra season. All right, so I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.